youth is becoming one of the most or the most important target group for employment uh, possibilities in rural areas. And we have to look not only at agriculture, but we have to look at uh, the jobs around agricultural production as well, along the value chains, the services, the, the production, the, the, the processing, the transport, the administration of it, the information services, etc. What is German Development Corporation currently already doing? We're working on value chains, on one very concretely, on in dairy, in uh, sweet potatoes, in Irish potatoes, in fruit production, in horticulture. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are working there in the uh, creating employment by increasing production, productivity, and uh, okay. working on the services around it. What are the key national policies of the government of Kenya to promote youth employment? Recently, there's a new government and the, they have set four priorities, of which one is food security in general, but the other ones are focusing as well on employment, on uh, mechanization, on uh, industrial growth and on employment for youth in particular. What about other crucial aspects like access to finance, access mm -hmm. to land? There's a new policy development on a youth agripreneurship policy which has not been passed, which is now at the validation stage. Okay. That is uh, where we are we're helping in, in developing that policy, which is becoming a part of the general agricultural policy for the country which is for growth and transformation. We in particular are working on the making these policies, especially this youth agripreneurship policy, uh, concrete on the ground. What you're currently doing, does that already match and closely link to, to the government policies? We help some youth organizations in our target areas to reorganize and to become representative organizations for the youth that can voice their demands, that can uh, formulate their demands and then voice them mm -hmm. to the government and which will be an entry point for us to uh, reach youth in a structured way. How did you do this concretely? We were sitting with these organizations, so let's say in one of the counties, that's the subnational structures, they had uh, four or five youth groups. And to form an umbrella organization by saying that they, by telling them that it's a good idea if you are united and if you have a, a realistic agenda that you can voice towards the government, and uh, that helps you also in self-organizing uh, your youth demands. Mm -hmm. So what happened was that they, they were organizing themselves as an umbrella organization with something 700 members. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's at the moment. So we're talking the last three, four months. So it is uh, uh, all in growing and that they formulated a, a, a youth declaration okay. that will concretize the, the, the youth policy for the country or county uh, specific demands. Another dynamic that happened very interestingly is that the youth themselves started networking. Mm -hmm. So they started activities by themselves using simple things like, like Facebook and WhatsApp to uh, uh, have market information, have information on training, have information on, on, on practices, etc. on their own. So there's a dynamic happening within the youth already that was just uh, 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 triggered by the self-organization. So looking maybe in the midterm perspective, what would be the main potentials in promoting youth employment in rural areas? Mm -hmm. And what would be additional activities, approaches supported by the German government or German Development Corporation? Mm -hmm. We are developing a concept that is multifaceted because the, uh, it needs a more comprehensive approach. At the, at the core of it is a training in agripreneurship to have an idea what does agribusiness really mean to uh, with the basics of, uh, of uh, 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 farm economy, etc., to know the difference between turnover and profit, mm -hmm. which a lot of uh, small enterprises mix up. Yeah. As well to build up uh, realistic business plans. And that is not so easy because the, you have to find a niche that is really a niche where there is a demand, mm. not that you produce for something where you dream of a demand and there is no demand. That is where the real challenges are. We can help them more specifically in the value chains that we are working with. And uh, we can help in networking as in general, with vocational training in specific topics, uh, extension training, information services like uh, uh, platforms, matching that with a financial corporation, the KFW that has a matching grant for good startup potential. We're looking in specifically into division of labor, that is an interesting uh, um, field for new employment. So for example, in the production of fodder 
or into services along the value chains, like uh, information services, like uh, uh, analytic services, for example, soil analysis you can have with a, with a small equipment, you can do soil analysis for farmers, and marketing services. What about the young people themselves? Do they believe in future employment perspectives in agriculture? Yes and no. The image, as in many African countries, of agriculture is a, a job of last resort. So it is not something that you, that your family wishes you go into. Mm -hmm. So it is for the stupid, for the laggards, for those who are left behind. The, uh, that is in contrast to, to the real potentials that you can have to make money. And uh, the image is slowly changing. When okay. we had a youth conference just a few weeks ago with uh, almost a thousand youth coming, they voiced uh, and there were quite some highly educated uh, youth among them who were going into agriculture, not without problems, mm -hmm. but uh, finally successfully. And they can be role models for the others. Mm -hmm that it is gainful and there's a good uh, employment opportunity to work in the rural areas. Mm -hmm. What they called, they, they framed the, the, the term green-collar jobs, mm -hmm. not the white-collar jobs, but mm -hmm. the green-collar jobs.